Hey, what's going on guys? It's Fresto here, and today we are back, or here, with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I figured, you know, if he's gonna keep doing it, uh, if, if, if C-Dog is gonna keep doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Then I'm gonna keep doing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I know I'm a little, a few weeks late to that, but I, did, but I couldn't figure out how I wanted to keep doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I didn't want to just keep doing the same thing he was doing, or do the same thing he was doing. So instead, I am gonna be doing ranked duels like he is except i'm going to be doing them in duel links speed duel style and you know what we're playing we're playing cyber dragon so let's hop right into that deck profile all right uh so this i wouldn't say is the optimal build for cyber dragons in duel links in speed duels but i don't have all the extra deck cards that i would require so first up we're rocking the three copies of cyber dragon uh he's the mainstay monster you you, you gotta have him you, then we're rocking two copies of cyber dragon veer uh, he's just a good extra summon uh, when you normal sum when you also summon Cyber Dragon Core. You know he's a, he's a mainstay in any Cyber Dragon deck, whether it's Speed Duels or not. And then you got the one copy of Overload Fusion to get to this guy. You got the two copies of Cyberload Fusion to get to any of these guys. Well, Overload can also get to him. Uh, Cyberload Fusion to get to any of these guys. And you got the three copies of Evolution Burst just for the generic, you know, spell trap or monster removal. Uh, then we've got the one copy of repair plant and the one copy of fusion support that that helps facilitate the uh, skill which is cyber style uh, Two copies of drowning mirror force and two copies of cybernetic overflow That's the house facilitate going first since you don't really get to decide whether or not you go first It's entirely random uh, in the side deck in the extra deck We are running two copies of cyber and dragon two three copies of cyber chimera tech over dragon and two copies of chimera tech rampage dragon These are just these are the ones I have uh, if I wanted to run this optimally, one, I would have the extra, I would have the, um, I would have the seventh extra deck slot, but I haven't completed that many, you know, XC summons. Uh, so I would have, I would have the other extra, the, the seventh extra deck slot. I would run the three Chimera Tech Rampage. I would probably run, so that's three, two of the Cyber Twin Dragons, leaving three spots spots open which would probably be filled with uh cyber two cyber ends and one over dragon and that's it um as for the main deck i think this i i like the main deck as it is uh just so we just we have everything that we're gonna go and so yeah we're gonna hop right into some ranked duels all right we're gonna do some ranked duels i am currently in the bronze rank uh, I don't, I don't duel in here a lot, so yeah, we're just gonna hop right in. Starting duel. Okay. Look at this. Here we go. How do, another bronze rank, uh, one. Yami Yugi. And going second. All right, Cyber Dragon in this, with the way I have it built, like in all, in like most versions, is a going second OTK build. And I do have everything I need. Because you know what? Evolution Burst is not once per turn. So that's two two uh, removals. Whether it be monsters or spells and traps. I can summon Cyber Dragon Core. And special summon Veer off of that. And grab Cyber Load Fusion. Off of Core's effect. Fusion summon into uh, Rampage Dragon. Uh, which will give uh, me the ability to. You know. Attack three times. But let's see, what's he going to go for? What's his end board going to be? And, you know, Rampage Dragon can pop two cards. In this case, it will pop two spells and traps. So. Hand traps aren't a thing. Well, actually, hand traps are a thing. Because you can get Skullmeister and you can get DD Crow. Can you get DD Crow? I think you can get DD Crow. In I think DD Crow is in um, Duel Links. Okay. Okay, so it looks like he Okay. Alright. Here we go. Draw for turn. What do we draw for turn? We drew Cyber Repair Plant. Isn't going to help us mo mo at most this turn. So we summon the core, and we activate the core's effect. Which is mandatory. But we chain the effect of the Cyber Dragon Fear to chain block it, so he can't, you know, negate core's effect. 
and we get Veer, who will boost everyone by 500 attack, and we grab Cyber Low Fusion. Then, before we get rid of the Cyber Dragons that we have, we activate Evolution Burst, and we get rid of you. So it's going to equip itself to you. That's fine. Because we're going to activate a second Evolution Burst and get rid of you. Then we're going to activate Cyberload Fusion. Fuse for Rampage Dragon. Our one and only copy, which is sad. I would like more, but I just can't seem to pull it. And we get the Rampage Dragon. Rampage Dragon's effect activates to destroy that car. Then we activate his uh, other effect to pitch you and you. Then we go to battle phase. Ooh, the end turn changed color. It used to be yellow, now it's purple. And then we attack again for game. Booyah! Easy. This wasn't hard. That was, a, that was a fantastic opening hand. I could not ask for a better hand than that. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Just, you know, and move on to the next duel. All right, here we go. Hopping into the next duel. I think if we win this one, we should. It'll tell us. But if we win this one, we should get another rank. We should go up into, uh, to rank two. I think. Bronze rank six. He's all the way up in bronze. I mean, he got all the way up to silver last season. Uh, is it... No, it doesn't look like we're going up a rank if we win this. Actually, no, it does. Okay. I think he goes up to seven, rank seven. If he... So he goes up to rank seven if he wins. And that is an interesting hand. The place where this deck struggles is... Uh, um... Uh you know, getting over the higher attack monsters, or high defense monsters, because uh, Over Dragon is only 2100 attack, and that's why we have the Cyber End Dragons. Uh, but I mean, if that's all you're going to do, then we should be fine. Uh, we drew Cybernetic Overflow, which is amazing. You have a monster, so I can special summon Cyber Dragon. Now I can special summon Beer in response to the summon. Then I can activate Cyberload Fusion. Grab myself a Rampage Dragon. So unless you have somehow have more than 20, more than, if you somehow have 2100 defense on that thing, I'm kind of not exactly because I also have Overflow, um, which will help in the long run. So we set a card. We go to battle phase. And... No. Okay. Double D mon- A DD monster. Okay. And then... Attack for game. Alright! Cool! That's- That's two games. And we go up to... I forgot to hit. Nice. Mm. Ooh, what skill did we get? Grit. Okay. What does that do? Uh, if you have 4,000 or more life points at the start of your turn, if your life points will not fall below zero, below one, works one time only. When this skill is applied, you can only special summon one monster to turn you at one monster until the end of your next turn. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a very good uh, ability. But we are only 12 minutes in. So I feel like I can go for, you know, one more. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop into one more duel. We found our opponent. Matching successful starting duel. This is going to be great. This is going to be fun. I'm ha I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. Is that bronze rank 3?
Oh, going first. Okay, well, let's, this gives us a chance to show off how we want to go first. And that is the beautiful going first hand. Kind of. Uh, really, all we can do is this. And we end our turn there. That's, yeah, that's really all we got. Um, the Drowning Mirror Force allows us to stall out one more turn. Because I'll just shuffle all of his attack position monsters into his deck. And then Cybernetic Overflow can just destroy everything. Or destroy one thing, if necessary, because I only have the one Cyber Dragon. But I'd like to keep it on hand. Is that... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take that, because, I mean, I'm not dying this turn. There's no way he can increase his attack by 2400 during the battle phase. No? And I want to be able to summon Cyber Dragon, so... That is not what we want to see. But you know what we do want to see? This! Oh, well, we go to battle phase. It looks like ni neither of us opened good, though I'm not sure he... I don't know what he's playing. I'm gonna have to look at it after this duel, but this one seems like it's gonna take a while, so... You know... Um... So, you know... This might be the last one. No, I don't want Overflow to activate. Well, there's Veer. And I can normal summon beer. We can go to battle phase. Okay. What is that? Okay, not something I have to worry about. That's fine. Unless it is. Okay, hold on. The gain life points with the damage you took. Okay, so it just reverses. That's wow. Okay, that's all right. It's a. It's not a very good card. It just kind of, you know, it's enchanted javelin, kind of, except worse. Yeah, it's worse enchanted javelin. Hmm. What if I draw one of the five cards that could just, you know, win me the game right here? That is not one of them. How many cards? 13? Okay, jeez. More than a third of those cards could just, you know, win me the game outright. But no, that's fine. What? You are running... Why? Okay. That gives him 300 extra defense, but that's not enough to, you know, get over... What was your plan there? Enter. I don't... Sometimes... I don't think this man... Maths very well. He thought he thought he was gonna punish me for attacking with Veer first, but in reality he can't math. So uh we're just gonna end this episode here. We're all gonna be back next week for another episode, and then after that, we should be there with back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series, I hope. But yeah, so uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, this is Fresto, signing out.